everyone. Welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And we are going to make a simple fun fold today. At least I think it's simple. Get everything straight over here. I feel like I'm so crooked. I think I'm he's in the camera. I think I'm good. Hi Donna, thanks for joining. All right, before I get started, I just wanted to remind everybody that we have our seasonal sale going on right now. It's 10% off um, cardstock. 15% off ink pads, and 20% off the dies from the annual catalog. Um, oh, I'm gonna pin that for later. <laughs> anyway, Stampin' Up! has never done sales on um, cardstock and ink pads before. They've had discount, you know, sales on dies, but never on the cardstock and ink pads. That is going until Thursday. So tomorrow is the last day at 11.50 p.m. Mountain Time. So if there's any cardstock you want to stock up on or ink pads, um, now would be a great time. The other thing is we have our Start With Savings joining promotion uh, where you get $125 worth of product for $75. And it ships for free. The, the kit, starter kit also includes a... Um... Hi, Jillian. Thanks for joining. Uh, Yes, Donna, you got your order. That was the best thing, getting it in as soon as possible before they start running out. Um, it in, the starter kit includes a a past paper paper pumpkin kit um, and some business items if you choose to do it as a business. Or hi, Barbara, thanks for joining. Hi, Chi, thank you for joining. Thank you, Chi. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, The best thing is right now, if you join today by, well, today or tomorrow, it's the last day, you can double dip. So you can get the, thank you, Barbara. Hi, Jake. Thank you for joining. Um, you can get the sale price for the cardstock, the ink pads, and the dies and put into your starter kit for $75. So you get a lot more stuff. So if you have any questions, please contact me at creativestampandesigns at gmail.com. I'd love to talk to you about it and get you signed up. I'd love to have you on the team. All right, we are going to make a card, and it is a real simple fun fold today. Oh, my goodness. My husband has everybody on at work, I think. Thank you, Bernard. All right, we are starting with a panel of crumb cake cardstock, which is four and a quarter. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. So it's just your basic tent fold. And the front of the card. We're going to do the front of the card first. Make sure I have my. in there all right so for the card front I'm using thank you Paul a panel of the neutrals um, pull it out. the neutrals six by six designer series paper in Mary Merlot I pulled everything out from the annual catalog today I wanted to go back out of the 
Um, getting all distracted, I'm sorry. Out of the mini catalog for a change and just do something a little different. So we are going to line this up. This piece is cut four by five and a quarter. So on the five and a quarter inch edge, we're going to line it up at two and five eighths. And then we are going to cut in two inches. Hi, Rosie. Thanks for joining. All right. Let me, actually, I need a piece of paper so I can see my numbers on my um, on the ruler. All right. So we are going to line this up at two inches. I have to remove that paper. Make sure I have it there. Sorry. Pulled it out too quick. All right, and we are just going to cut down. Lift it up. Move your um, cutting blade out of the way. And then I found that if I line up the two corners take my scoring blade and I want to come up to it you got to try to eyeball it here so you want to come up to that um, the cut line and to the corner and then we're going to turn it this way just turn it a quarter of a turn and we're going to do the same thing we're going to just score from the cut line to the corner and I think I move nope I think I'm good I said real simple fold today. We are going to fold it on those lines. We're just going to fold this back, fold this one back. Just like that. That's it with the fun fold. Now we're just going to put everything together. I did prepare a panel of um, Mary Malo cardstock. This is also four by five and a quarter. And what I did, I know where my embossing folder is. I used the thanks and hello. I used the because I'm making a thank you card. I used the thanks. Um, let me just pull it out real quick. Uh, embossing folder. And I embossed it right through the center. And then I checked, and we were going to be a little bit short on the top and bottom. So what I did is I just lined it up, because this, this was in the center, so then I just lined it up a little bit like that, and then a little bit on the bottom. So just bottom, and then moved it to the top, ran it through the embossing folder, so the whole thing is embossed. You're not going to see it. You're only going to see the little triangle part, but I wanted to make sure it was all there. Okay, and that's going to go. This is going to get adhered right to the top of this like that. And I'm going to adhere it with... Um, you finally put post-it note tape under the numbers on your trim. Oh, that's a good idea. So you can see it. When you use light colors, you can see it okay. It's the dark colors that you can't always see. All right, and then we're just going to adhere this, making sure all the thanks are going one direction. Just like that. And I'm just going to flip it over to give it a little bit of a press. Hi Karen, thanks for joining, thank you. Okay, and then this I'm going to adhere to a crumb cake card base and I'm going to adhere it with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Just 
to give it that little little pop. I did do some of the stuff ahead of time again. Not much of it, but the fussy cutting I did ahead of time. Whoops, it's more dimensional. Oh, well, hopefully you can use it for other things, Rosie. I've done that so many times. I think the worst is when I go to cut a piece the normal size that you know we use every day and I cut it wrong. Sure, I have all those off. And we're just going to adhere this to the center of the card base. So the colors I'm using today: Crumb Cake, Mary Merlot, and Night of Navy. Then I pre-cut um, the circles. This is the third largest circle and then the coordinating scallop um, circle in the Knight of Navy. These, this is one of the um, set of dies that's on sale this week. So you might want to grab it if you don't already have it. I'm just going to stamp the flowers, the little trio of flowers from, thank you, Jamie, from the um, Brew Some Fun. We're just going to stamp them right like that. I mean, second thoughts, maybe I shouldn't have gone live today. <laughs> My husband's got his, the people he works with chiming in. And I'm just going to color the flowers with my light Knight of Navy Stampin' Blend marker. I like blue flowers. I don't know why. But I've done quite a few over... Um, over the years, whether it's, is it, yeah, that is my light. Um, I've done the blue poinsettias. I've done blue roses. I don't know why I like blue flowers. Blue never was my favorite color either. I mean, I like it. I just, it was just never my favorite. And it never fails. I like blue flowers. I like pink flowers. And all around my house, I have yellow. I'm just using my old olive just to color the leaves. And I'm not really doing any blending because if I use the dark Night of Navy, you will not be able to see the flowers. Now I'm going to take the sentiment, sending thanks with a whole latte, latte, latte love, and we're going to use the marker to stamp technique. So I'm going to color the thanks with my Merry Merlot. And I don't know if anybody's ever done this before, but it gives you a lot more options when you color the stamp with your markers because then you can color parts of it one color and other parts another and that's what I did. I think I got all the the way my light is shining today I'm having a lot of trouble seeing. That or I'm just blind. Alright and then I'm gonna color the other words with my knight of navy. And the good thing with the circle is if I don't get it straight, just turn the circle a little bit.
then you're going to give it a little huff and then you're going to stamp it. I got to put this a little closer, sorry. Oops. Just like that. Well, yeah. So you can have two different colors on your one uh, one sentiment. All right, we're going to adhere this, just give it a second to dry. Let's scrap paper out of the way. We're going to adhere this with some stamp and seal, just to my blue, the scallops, scallop mat. Whoops. fingers again. Jeez, I barely touched the liquid glue. There you have it. All right, and then, well, I have one more part. This I did ahead of time. I didn't color it yet, but I did fussy cut it. I It's the cup image. Oh, where's my stamp set? the cup image from Brew Up Some Fun. So I did stamp it and cut it out. I did not color it, but I did cut it out because it wasn't... You know me, I will not fussy cut live. And we're just going to color it. I'm just coloring using my um, dark and light Night of Navy Stampin' Blends markers. If you're leaving comments, I'm not was not watch I'm not watching right now. Because when it comes to coloring and stamping, or coloring and reading, I should say, those two don't go hand in hand with me. And you can really color the cup any any color you want. I just Figured I'd do the light, the lighter and darker blue. All right, and then I'm just going to color the cup part of it with my crumb cake. Came down to my table. This was not the card I was doing. This got designed an hour ago. But I, I had something else completely in mind for today. But I came down to my table because I was using my crumb cake Stampin' Blend yesterday a little bit. And I guess I left and went upstairs and left them open. in. Okay. All right, and then I'm just going to pop this up right on the side. So it's just, I'm used to using my tweezers to put my dimensionals on. And I'm just going to pop that right like that. And then this is going to go right here. Now I did also, I have to find it. I'm going to guess it fell somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just lost that. I stamped the bow from um, the Brew Up Brew Some Fun. Stamp set. And this bow can be cut out with the uh, what's it called? warm wraps dies. 
the warm wrap warm wrap dies actually coordinate with the brew up some brew some fun. These were from last year, but there is a die in there. It'll cut the circle out and cut the center. It cuts the bow. And I'm pretty sure that was it. And then you can cut other shapes. But like this one here, we'll um we'll cut you're my cup of tea. And then the bow cut the bow and the little mug die cuts the, okay, well, that's a little smaller, but it does cut the teacup. So these two do coordinate together. And this is one of the sets that's 20% off right now. So I did um, stamp and cut the bow ahead of time and color it. And we're just going to wait. Okay, so we're just going to put this right on the cup like this. Because I just thought it needed a little bow. And then we will pop this up right here. And this will hold the flap down. So you don't have to adhere those down. Oops strips of my stamp of dimensionals and you can put them all the way around it's because you're not really blocking anything I, just, I still like to put them on the top and bottom and I'm just going to put one in the middle just to hold it all in place. Okay, just right like that, we're going to add a couple of the Knight of Navy, the Holiday Rhinestone. You can tell this is my favorite pack of rhinestones. I use these all the time. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Jillian. Yeah, this set, well, Donna, when you were here at my last class, this was the set of dies we used for the little jars. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one more up top. Maybe we're going to put one more up top if I can catch it. Mm, we'll go over there with it. That's it. That's the card front. Nice and simple. So obviously if you use... I was going through other paper, but I had nothing that was going to go with the Mary Merlot, and I just felt like using Mary Merlot today. Um... But the papers that have our regular designer series paper, let me just grab one real quick. Like, I actually have a card I'm working with um, this paper from the, um, I think it's Stocking Surprise or something. This would be the main panel, and then the little triangles would be are going to be this one. It, I will post it eventually. Um, it was just a couple more Christmas cards I was working on. <laughs> yes, it does, Rosie. All right. Uh, let me get the inside done real quick. And where are we? Okay. Actually... I forgot to pull out the set. Use the ornate thanks. I just, I, this is my go to set when I have, when I write thank you cards. I just love the sentiments in, in this. And we're going to use the one. Uh, if I could find it. 
It says you made you made my day. Just have to. Sorry. Usually I have these. Oh my goodness! There it is. This set has gotten so much love. Okay, and we are going to just stamp. I'm going to use my Mary Merlo stamp um, ink, I'm sorry, on the inside. And the photopolymers are, photopolymer stamps are a little bit easier to get straight. I'm going to leave enough room so I can write something. Oops. I just have glue on my... That's a little crooked. I need to do that again. Sorry. As I said that it's easier to get these straight, my stamped crooked. I want to try to get it right general area where I had the other one. Not that it's going to go on a, a Knight of Navy mat, so you won't see anything. You won't see through it. And if it comes out crooked again, then it's just staying crooked. Okay, that looks straighter. And then I'm just going to adhere. I have a strip of the Mary Merlot cardstock that, um, designer series paper, I'm sorry, that I had left over. So I'm just going to adhere that to the bottom of the panel. And I'm going to stamp a couple of the little coffee cups above it. And it was the exact, exactly the four inches. And then I'm just going to, and I'm going to hope to get these like near, right near the line. I'm going to do the best I can here. Not too bad. No, that's it. I'm just going to put the one on. It's going to envelope and I'll adhere this. I am going to color the cup in, but I'll color it in after I'm done. You guys don't need to sit and watch me color another cup. Put that on there, like that. I'm using liquid glue. I can't get my... right on the inside like that all right we'll do a quick envelope now because this piece was four by five and a quarter I didn't want to cut a whole nother piece of DSP for my two and a quarter inch so I'm going to show you the little trick just in case if you don't have a big enough piece of DSP so it's still the six inches it's two by six inches so we're just gonna put this right like that on the envelope just like I usually do get glue all over my fingers just like I always do and going to trim this down and then what I'm going to do you see there's just this tiny bit right there of the envelope and we're just going to cut that down because then there's plenty of room 
to seal the envelope. But sometimes you might be that quarter inch short or half inch short for the envelope. And you don't want to leave the envelope naked. So there. So you still have your finished envelope. I'm going to stamp the coffee cup on the front along with the flowers and I'll color those in later on. Whoops, sorry. And we're just going to go just like that. Color those after. There you have it. Nice and simple. If you have any questions, please contact me. The a link to the video and all the directions and measurements will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampingdesigns.com. And if you do make the card, you do this fold, I would appreciate if you would, um, in the comments on my Facebook page, under the post for this, in the comments, post a picture of your card that um, you made like this. All right? If you have any questions, please contact me. Don't forget about the sale going on right now. You don't want to miss out on stocking up on your um, cardstock. And if there's any dyes you wanted or ink pads that you need to fill up on, uh, just remember, if you do place your order with me, make sure you use my current host, current host code, T-G-E-A-T-Y-Y-A, -Y -Y -A, and you'll get a free gift from me with any order value of any order of $50 or more. All right. Thanks everyone for joining and I hope to see you next week. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.